The, the piece is called Moving a Tree, and it's a multifaceted sort of installation. Um, I made, the whole project is about my, my grandparents and their relationship. My grandfather, who died this year in January, um, was sort of, you know, the patriarch of the family, a very important figure in my life. And the last five years of his life, he had a, a pretty massive stroke and then dementia set in. Um, and so for the last five years, he sort of uh, became a different person that my family kind of had to get to know again. Um, and it was tough for my grandmother in the beginning, but she figured out a beautiful way to handle the situation. And by the last couple of years, she did such a great job being a caretaker and a loving friend um, to her husband, who was a kind of a different guy. Um, but, but, you know, she made him an important person in her life. Um, and she helped the family sort of um, reunite around him too and sort of recognize him as the patriarch that he was before the stroke. This project sort of started brewing a couple months after his death um, and uh, decided that I wanted to make, sort of make a, a memorial and homage uh, to him. I was just impressed by Avery's versatility and also um, that there's so many layers to his work. So, for example, um, the performative piece, which people sort of stumble upon, um, seems in some way whimsical. People have come in here and they've said that they've seen him and they thought that the piece was going to be funny and lighthearted. And it does have that piece to it, but he's also talking about really big ideas. And I think it's one of these projects that the more you look and the, the more you discover. And I learn new things about it constantly because I think there's just so much content. So it's, it's both beautiful, um, but it also just is incredibly rich content-wise. So it started with a video. Um, video is called Moving a Tree. It's a short film, seven minutes long. Um, it's a performance-based video. Um, and in the performance, I sort of methodically take down a tree as one character, as my grandfather wearing a business suit. Um, piece by piece with a handsaw, and then switch outfits into this this tennis whites outfits, which sort of represent my my grandmother who liked to play tennis. And she takes the pieces of the tree that my grandfather in the business suit, um, you know, took down, destroyed, and takes them to the top of a hill, which is nearby, um, and tries to reconstruct the tree, um, which is sort of an impossible task. You can't reconstruct a tree that has been chopped down, but. Um, you know, she's trying to create something, you know, in my mind it's sort of a memorial to uh, my grandfather, the family, you know, she's picking up the pieces. I was thinking about that and what she did for all of us when, you know, the pieces go back up the hill um, and, uh, and reconstruct the tree. He's working in so many mediums and he's doing such a good job in each format. Um, I do think there's a lot of pressure on artists now to broaden their scope in terms of medium. So having the different access points probably reaches a broader audience or would allow an artist to reach a broader audience because different types of people are drawn to different types of things. So if you can reach them through printmaking, if you can reach them through performance, if you can reach them through drawing, video, you're just sort of increasing your audience, I think. So I did sort of diptychs, um, these two figures, uh, um, sort of me, um, as my grandfather in the business suit outfit. I'm thinking about that. Monumental sculptures, um, the, the sort of the signature object, the saw, having the saw in the, the, the drawing is really important too. Um, so that it, like, it really distills the character down to its, its foundation. So in the same one with that one, it's a slightly different pose, but um, uh, more dejected. But you know there, there are also plenty of monuments with that sort of like tragic characters, um, and you know and, and this is his tragic flaw that he is cutting down a tree with that saw like that is his burden essentially is 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 that object, and then it's the same essentially same idea with these um, the tennis whites, one is considering like the future and the other one is is reflecting on the past throughout scope for all like five days I'm going to hop on a treadmill and there's a treadmill in the uh, in one of the scenes of the movie and I have the wallpaper behind me and I have a log on my back um, there's a, a little information card about the uh, a stationary movement kind of the, referencing the movie referencing sort of you know hopefully you know it's when I can reflect kind of a little bit on the on the movie and about you know what the whole the whole narrative of of this project um, and hopefully
hopefully I sort of get people to look at it and to you know think about what I'm doing. There's a, a little information card about the, the performance um, and just watch this, you know, what could potentially be an interminable act.